Gardner. Hedda Gardner. That used to be my name. The true beauty from the day that she was born. Ah, but don't you notice something extra specially beautiful about her now? Filled out somehow. Oh, don't. Yes, but then you were always at least one form ahead of me. I don't think you even knew how frightened of you I was then. Whenever I passed you on the stairs, you used to pull my hair. No, did I really? Yes. And once you said you'd like to put a match to it and burn the whole lot off. Oh, that he looked with his book out to me. It's one of the most extraordinary things anyone's ever done. I'm not asking about that. Henry, I have to tell you this. By the time he'd finished reading, something awful came over me. Awful? I sat there. And I knew that I was jealous of Aylett. <laughs> jealous of Aylett love book. Others. But I've always had a certain respect for the marriage institution, so far as it goes. Oh, I never had any hopes where you were concerned. All I've ever asked for was a good group of close friends. Friends I can help and advise when they need it, and come and go in their houses as we all please. Or as the man of the house pleases. Well, to be honest, preferably the wife pleases. <laughs> A three-sided arrangement can be very pleasing for all concerned. I often used to feel the need of a third person all those hours alone together in railway carriages. For the rest of my life, it will seem as though you'd killed a little child. It's just like that. But how could you? It was mine, too. Little child. Me, gentlemen, won't you take a glass of cold punch? Good idea, Heather. Just the thing for us at the moment. And you have one, too, won't you, Mr. Lowe? Uh, thank you, no, not for Oh, come now, cold punch isn't exactly lethal. Take it from me. Maybe not for ever. I found this. Isn't that what he bought on the desk? Yes. Oh, irreplaceable. Unique. Irreplaceable thing. He, he just went out and lost it. For once in my life, I want the power to shape someone's fate.